Welcome to the Medical Dialogues. I'm Dr. B.P. Rahul, Senior Medical Correspondent at Medical Dialogues. The Undergraduate Medical Education Board of the National Medical Commission has issued a much-awaited new competency-based medical education for undergraduate course curriculum. This new curriculum is being introduced to the new MBBS batch who took admission in February-March 2022 with the objective of covering all three domains of the learning that is cognitive, affective and psychomotor. The new curriculum introduced in August 2019 shall enrich the medical students with a sound base and balanced approach to the overall aspect with the introduction and shall be a foundation course which includes family adoption program, yoga, meditation, local language adaptation and skills. NMC in its circular mentioned all state government and union territories, universities and medical colleges, institutes are requested to take immediate necessary steps to implement the new competency-based medical education for undergraduate course curriculum from the current batch of MBBS students that is 2021 and 22 admitted in the month of February, March 2022. The guidelines for implementing the new CBME course curriculum, academic calendar for the MBBS batch, month-wise schedule of new CBME course, curriculum for new family adoption program, brief modified transliteration of Maharshi Charak Sapath, all these aspects have been covered in the NMC circular dated March 31, 2022. NMC has mentioned in the circular about the guidelines for undergraduate CBME 2021 batch who got admitted only a couple of weeks ago. The guidelines specified that the curriculum of undergraduate CBME 2021 will begin from 14 Feb 2022 in all medical college across the country. The basic framework and inclusions of CBME will not be disturbed as they are vital components of outcome-based education. It is mainly the redistribution of hours in view of COVID-19 pandemic within the time frame that needs consideration for 2021 and 22 batch. Redistribution with the timeline of professional years for 2021 and 22 is provided since the duration for first professional has been reduced from 14 months to 12 months, the period can be adjusted by having one week of foundation course at the beginning of academic calendar and then spreading the remaining three weeks of foundation course in first six months beyond curricular hours. Allocating sports and extracurricular hours for regular teaching Reducing duration of vacation, that is one week in summer and one week in winter at the discretion of university and college. Final first exam will be for forensic medicine, toxicology and community medicine. All clinical subjects will be taught as per curriculum. Parallel and exams will be covered in next. Early clinical exposure and integration retained since they are all teaching, learning methods and strategies for addressing identified competencies. Some self-directed learning hours can be reduced, specifically from subjects like anatomy and physiology. Some SDL hours can go beyond office hours if required. As such, also students may also require to do certain things for SDL beyond regular hours. Electives promote academic flexibility and may be offered on-site based on students' need and choice. One month of electives can be adjusted for this batch wherein Block A, pre-para clinical electives can have electives along with clinical postings and Block B, clinical electives without clinical posting. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.